Hi there. Hello there. You can hear me. There we go. <laughs> All right. Good job. I think we're expecting one more. Let's see. What we've got. How are y'all doing tonight? Good. How about you? I'm doing well. I got dinner made and <laughs> you're way ahead of me. <laughs> I'm like flying around. Well, all my boys are gone. Like two of them are working and one's at a class. So my husband's upstairs working. So I'm all alone. It's this yeah. is feeling. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I heard, so all we're missing is Vanessa. Okay. Um, no, we're missing two more. Vanessa and Henry. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and get started since it's 645 and I don't want to waste your time. I hope Carol gets connected. She's still connecting to audio, it says. Looks like it. Frankie, can you hear me okay? see her okay well to me Lori <laughs> that's a, that's right <laughs> not only do you get the award for <laughs> for using the felt storyboard first this year <laughs> but you get the award for making it to the meeting and being on <laughs> well I'm glad I uh did it early because I had to install an update that took oh. like five minutes I guess I just don't use zoom that much anymore I use teams yeah yeah I I don't use zoom much anymore any either okay it looks like we've got Carol with sound now are you there Carol? Hey. yay Thank and you. Frankie's back maybe she had trouble um are you there, Frankie? Maybe. There. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Come, Holy Spirit. Father in heaven, you are a great God, a great Father who gives us everything we need. You have made us as human beings to be gift to others. You have enabled us with certain uh, unique qualities that each of us have. You have enabled us with our desires and our impulses that we um, also <laughs> believe are from you as long as they're good. And um, we bring all of these gifts to make of ourselves a gift to these children and to these families so that we can help them know you better. And so we ask you to come upon this time for us to gather together and see how things are going and support these ladies in all the hard work that they're doing. We ask you to be with us, send your Holy Spirit down upon us, help us to have a good and frank discussion about what needs to happen to make this an amazing program for your people. Um, and so we also ask the Blessed Mother to intercede for us before the throne of God for all of these intentions. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, your son, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, now Frankie's coming in on another thing. Let's see if we can get her. I don't know. All right. All right. So, well, there's three out of six. That's 50%. We can do that. <laughs> All right. Um, so first, I want to hear how things are going. Just um, I want to listen about any concerns you have, anything that's going well, about curriculum, behavior, attendance, any of that stuff. Um, I just want to sit and listen. So Lori, do you mind going first? Sure. And we lost Frankie again. Um, so I think the first part of the year, I think went really well. It's like the second part of the year, not only attendance has dropped off, but behavior in our class has become a little bit of a struggle. Oh Just, dear. They won't, they won't calm down. Like this group feeds off of each other. Oh, no. And I mean, Carol's shaking her head. She, she's noticed it too. They just, they feed off of each other. And when one goes nuts, they all are just like, you know, so behavior is becoming, I, and I did put it in my note to the parents this week that look, can I you help us? Too reinforce you know how they're supposed to act in class and maybe that sparked some discussion but last week I and Carol you weren't there but I went to you know I always try to bribe 
I'm not above bribery and say, Hey, I've got candy at the hey, end. You got of an hour. hour. <laughs> you know, exactly. I've got candy, you know, if you're good and we learn our lesson and we do this, you know, and this is the first time that where I told him, I was like, no, I'm sorry. I was like, you good. guys were, it was, it was a train wreck. And I mean, we did the felt boards, which I think would have been really good, but we had some that just were acting out and they didn't want to participate. And so there are just certain, yeah. certain three or yeah, uh, I would say three or maybe four, but yeah, <clears throat> just certain ones. And they're the same every week and they get the others. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. all of the others, but some of the others oh, go. I would I say there are some wonderfully behaved kids yeah. in that class. And it's a shame that we're always having to, you know, um, speak to Redirect, or move yeah. them from here or there. Um, but yeah, Lori's right. I mean, some nights we look at each other and go, oh boy. <laughs> well, yeah. maybe... Um... Maybe it would just take, you, you know, y'all calling me in and let's, or, you know, pull them out one at a time. I'll have a little talk with them. We'll, we'll scare the bejesus out of them, but, um, you know, cause they're going to the, the principal. <laughs> well, and I did also, that seemed to straighten them up last week when I threatened taking them up there to you and that you would talk to them and, you know, and I explained that to them and they were like, oh, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, they, yeah. they seem to be a little bit better, but. Yeah. Well, maybe we can um, go ahead and do that. If I mean, even the first one just steps out of line. Let's let's yeah. do it, and that'll scare the others into line. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, but so, otherwise, I mean, yeah, Carol's right. There are some wonderfully gifted. Little, I mean, they I mean, just know honestly, it all. And they answer and listen. All the answers and, and it. The felt boards were fun because the there were two little girls who did participate. And in spite of all the distraction, you know, I told the story once without the pieces and then I just, I didn't give them all of them, but I picked out the ones that, you know, and I said, Hey, you retell the story. And there were two of them that could just retell the entire story that I, you know, with the pieces. Perfect. That's awesome. Who was it? Who uh, was it, Lori? Uh, Anna and uh, Abby both did it. And so, oh, yeah, they just, yeah. They I mean. Anna can get excited, but if you tell her to settle, yeah, does. she usually does. And, and Abby so does, does Abby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, well, it's like good. when when they're isolated or they're the others aren't there, they do fine. And even the twins, the twins weren't there. Piper and Phoebe, they're um, they're good. Yeah, well, Phoebe did act out a little bit a couple of weeks ago, but. I think she was getting sick. So I, I kind of discounted that one because those two are really good. And they you know, really so, are. And, and I mean, curriculum wise, I'm, you know, I think we're doing well with the curriculum. I, good. you know, I, I do think, you know, obviously there's a lot in each one of those lessons. So I try to just pull out one piece of, yes. of it and that's all we can get in. But, yeah. you know, I think they're learning what they need to learn. So, okay. And your attendance has gone down quite a bit too. Um, just a little bit. I mean, you know, we had the one that ended up not coming. Who was it? I don't remember. But anyway, and then um, oh, what's the last name? The the poor lady with all the children. Oh, von Gruben. Yeah, yeah, she's pulled them out because she's got a yeah. It's a whole yeah. Story. The one that's in first communion. You know, yeah, she so does that I, every year. I mean, so that has to do what the, she has to do. I mean, that's yeah, I, yeah, I get it. And I, it's unfortunate for that. That is the most well behaved little boy, I think. Oh, in class. He is hey, the we to let her know because all those kids always get oh, yeah, completely different than I had one of he the is really you know, good. Um, awesome. and Michael is just so, I mean, he he'll talk you know you have to drag it out of him but he sits there and does the lessons and colors Aww. and he colors so beautifully but yeah it, he, it's doesn't, he doesn't want to come in but then once he's in he's like yeah. okay here I am <laughs> yeah let's go yeah so that's but yeah, so thank, thank you and I mean you... sickness sickness is obviously key yeah we cool. have had a lot of illnesses um I'm just gonna catch Frankie up real quick we're just I'm just um, asking if there's any 
issues or concerns or even good things that are happening in your classroom? Uh, did you have anything to share, Frankie? Can you guys hear me now? Yes, we can. We can. Okay, good. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I was having problems with I understand. Computer I hate AV um, equipment. I hate technology. I know. Um, no, I mean, um, I just notice a little bit of decrease of on attendance some days when it gets colder, of course, of course. And um, um, but um the kids are very good engaging when we are doing the class and and where they're good participating, they behave very well. Um it's just, you know, um we do ask them if they go to church and of course they're very honest as I know or <laughs> But like, you know, the, at that age, they're very honest. So like, well, my mom said we didn't have time. So it's the only thing that we're like trying to tell them like, well, you know, um, it's part of, it, it would be nice if you you can, mom and dad can take it to church and we miss Lisa and I talk to them. But um, it's just that we're noticing now that the last few weeks, maybe we have more, more kids missing in the classroom than usual. Yeah. But I think yeah. between the illnesses and the weather, we're just yeah. up against a wall. And, you know, in the spring, all the things at school start heating up and it's just it, people don't prioritize the church. They don't. Pri obviously, that class isn't prioritizing even mass. So, you know, <laughs> we're the next thing to go. Unfortunately, that should be swapped. But yeah. anyway, <laughs> I mean, mass should be the first thing to go to. But um you know, not everybody knows that. And we do our best to help the children gently understand that. So they're not, so we're not making their parents look bad, but yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, sounds like we're all having about the same problems, but really Lori and, and Carol, if y'all, um, you know, need some support, I am here. And I, um, even if I've got another parent thing, I'm, I'm going to come out and take care of the kids. So that's my job. So um, yeah. just know that I'm here for you. And if it comes to that, maybe we just need to do it once or twice and they'll be yeah. they'll straighten up. So, And I, I have to remember, you know, we're doing this on Wednesday evenings when they've been in school all day. Yes. That's the difference between Wednesday and Sunday is that yeah. they've been in school all day and then they have to come, you know, at, right. for yeah. church school. And so yeah. it's hard to get them you know, and can you imagine community. those poor second grade babies who had stay after to go to oh, yeah. communion prep? That's just so, I, awful. I, yeah. we're changing that next year. We, I just, it's too late. It's yeah. just too late. I've said that for years. Um, yeah. Well, um, the other things I wanted to share with you that <laughs> it's only taken me two years. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay, we're going to go to Trello. I've actually updated Trello. Woo! Yeah, and right. so for all the re lessons for the rest of the year, if you're interested, um, I've gone ahead and added um, and corrected it. Because if you remember, we had the first version of the book for a couple of years, and now we've moved to the second version of the book. And I never did update that. The first half of the sessions from 15 backwards, those are still old. I just set today and updated all of the rest of the year according to our calendar. So you'll see the session 16 is your next session. It's Jesus Performed Miracles. And I have the objectives here. And I have a new resource. I, I can't remember if I've shared it with y'all before. Maybe I have. It's called a um, a Jesse box. Have y'all have y'all seen the Jesse box before? Mm -mm. Okay, it's really uh -huh. interesting. It's one, um, it's got... It comes with these cones like this, these wooden dowel cones, and then several little animals that are made out of wood. And then it comes with a diorama and it comes with back screen pieces like this. Can you all see that? Anyway, but what's cool about these is that I have several sets. One's creation, one's Noah's Ark, one's nativity, one's Easter, one's, you know, all the different sets. And they each come with these paper, uh, a nice art and you put them over oh, the cone and it becomes the person. Yeah. And so I'm going to swing my um, video camera around, just bear with me for a minute. So y'all can see what it would look cute. like. There's the, oh, and so you tell the story and it comes with props. Like here's the ark, and you can have the people even go in the ark and the animals go in the ark. 
And so the kids can retell the story with this as well. It's just a different medium, like the, like the felt stories, yeah. but it's a little bit more 3d where they can, they can tell the story and, um, and, you know, have people interact with each other. They love to do that at this age. So, um, anyway, I have, um, many of the story sets, like I said, this one's Noah's Ark. I have creation. And so in session 16, as you can see on the screen, it does talk a little bit about creation. So if you wanted to try out the Jesse box and see how it works, that'd be great. I also put some other options out here. You know, these little miracles of Jesus books. Here's a flip book about, it talks a lot in one option about the Cana story. Um, and then of course we've got Lent coming up. So tying that to Lent um, as much as we can, or you can wait till the next week to do Lent. But, um, and then I've gone ahead and loaded up the rest of these cards or these lists with cards that have ideas. And I even put out here, hey, you can use the story 147, Remembering Jesus from the Felt Book or 151. I just tried to let y'all know, I try, I'm try. i trying to link the resources we have with the sessions that you're having, you're being asked to do. And okay. so I've got that out there um, and other ideas for uh, Stations of the Cross, because that's the week we do Stations of the Cross. And um, if you just did a lesson on Stations of the Cross with one of these activities and we went to the Stations of the Cross, you've met the objectives for the um, for the lesson. OK, so um, and then, of course, we keep moving along. Now, the one change I did make today when I was um, going uh, right here on the calendar, it says session 27. Um, it didn't when I it made sense to me and I realized later what I did, I was trying to tie it in with. Um, because this one is in late April and I was trying to tie it in with the church being open, the sanctuary. Mm. But when I looked at the lesson today, it was all about bishops and popes. And I'm like, that is going to go whew, right over a kindergartner's head. So I think the story of him ascending into heaven makes more sense um, because it completes the, the Paschal mystery. And so we'll go to that. And then I put video links out here. And here again is another felt story. Um, Catholic icing has lots of ideas. I put a link to her. And then we always do that last session falls at the beginning of May. We always do Mary because Mary uh, May is, of course, Mary's month. And um, I have a little description here about how you can do a May crowning, a link. There's a link for how to do a May crowning, articles about how to do it. Um, there's a beautiful book to read that I've even given you a video of the animation of reading the book. If you don't want to read it yourself, you can have a video of it, <laughs> but right. we have a couple of copies of this, take it to the queen. Um, but it's a beautiful allegory about um, Mary being the queen. Anyway, so finally I've updated Trello, but I was going to ask if there's a volunteer to go and update all the rest because I'm like, oh my gosh, it took me four hours today to update kindergarten and first grade for tonight's meeting. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was like, wow. Okay. That took a lot of time. No wonder I haven't had time to do that, but there's some, there's some other cards out here that are lessons we've done in other years. And I just put a little list here that says end of the year. So, you know, if you go beyond your, yeah. your past, so we just have those few lessons left, um, session 16 and on, um, looks well, like Andrea, the, you looks like you really got some great resources there for us. Thank yeah. And I know it's hard to find time to come in and look at those resources, you know, to stand in the workroom and go, what game can I find? You know, y'all don't have time for that. And so I'm trying to help y'all with that by saying, here's a resource. Here's a resource. Like we have a, a nut for Mary day. We have a, um, we have a magnet game where you put her life in order, you know, just fun things like that, that just a little quick activity can get them up moving and yep. engaged a little bit more. And I put books out there that I think we have in the, in the um, little library that we have. I don't know if y'all even know we have a little library, but. Um, so I, I have a question. So yeah. you, you may have said it. These um, resource options go along with the book that we are teaching out of? Yes. So like this last week, well, it's not going to match because the old edition, but the next lesson you're going to teach this weekend, this week is Jesus performed miracles. 
I see. Okay. And so what I did is I just went out there and I said, well, you could use the creation story because it talks about how God, you know, saved them from the flood. And then there's a little mini book and um, another mini book because one of the options talks about Cana and the water being turned into wine. Mm -hmm. And so there's a little book there. And it, and Lori, I know you've been doing this a long time. You probably have things you've already, you already do. And if you get time, I know you don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say like the little parable uh, thing right there. That's yeah. what I usually use for the pair, like a Catholic icing. I love Catholic. icing. Oh yeah. That's She's where so I've good. gotten a lot of my stuff. So you may have most of what I do out here. Maybe. I don't know because I do love her stuff. And I also, um, I know y'all know we have a subscription to Formed mm -hmm. and Formed has some really great little videos out there. And so there's one called one episode in the Jesus story is called the little lost sheep um, out there. So I don't know. I don't think that's, it was very long. I tried to stay under 10 minutes. Yeah, for that's video. a great idea because we haven't done a video with them yet. And maybe just changing up some of the stuff we're doing. How, how would we do a video? Just you would have to bring it up. Um, bring our computer in. Well, I know that's what Mark does. I don't know, Andrea, is there an, a way of Every TV in every room is different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I don't remember. I know what yeah. I've, I've done uh, videos mostly, like DVDs. Oh, mostly. okay. Yeah, and so. we can, I've tried, when you bring, you can bring formed up on these TVs. It's just that it's, it's tedious to sit there and put the information in with that little remote. Yeah. Um, but- a, a faster way to do it. And this is why Mark does it is he brings his computer and just hooks it up and, and it's it's right. his computer, which is easier. You can do it from an iPad. You can even do it from your iPhone. Um, if we have the, if, yeah, I, my, my, my connections are old. They're from the old jacks. So I need to get some new connections. Well, that was my problem. I tried it with my phone once and I didn't, I didn't know if I didn't have the cord you know to plug in but yeah. I didn't know if there was a way to do it via bluetooth and I never know unfortunately out. these tvs don't have the bluetooth before, capability yeah. and the mirroring it's so crazy but um what is the connection to the tv hdmi, HDMI. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so if you okay. can get whatever you have to connect to right. hdmi I've got you covered but that's the thing that's the bad part is whatever you've got has got to connect to hdmi and now okay. even some laptops don't even have HDMI. <laughs> I know. Everything's going to Bluetooth, but my, we're waiting for mine. Mine does. Mine does. Okay. Lord. So, okay. I mean, if, you know, let's talk, we can yeah. try to figure that out. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to go over. So I'm going to, any questions about Trello and these resources? Nope. Okay. Um. What's coming up? Well, we're off of most of the month of March. <laughs> Can you, I don't, is it switching for you? Are you seeing my scenes, screen switch or is it staying on Trello? It's still on Trello. It's okay. Trello. Let me stop sharing and share. There you go. <laughs> All right. So you'll notice on our calendar here, we are off this next Wednesday, the, the 11th. And then we have one meeting no, we have two, three, three meetings, and then we're off for two weeks, on a week, off for a week. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so this is the Sunday meeting calendar. Yeah. So that's why it's not showing. I was going to say, wait, 14th, here. right? So, right. Yours is on the 14th. Yeah, I should have brought up the right calendar. I didn't. I just pulled up the Sunday one. But, um, but anyway, you can see we're going to miss a lot in March. But the good news is in April, we, we hit it pretty hard. Now we do have this family of faith workshop coming up where um, Carol, if you remember in the fall, when we did the, the stations and all the families came around and did the stations, we're going to do that again, um, where the families come and uh, okay. it's all going to be about being an Easter people. And um, we're going to talk about how to keep the Sabbath day holy and <laughs> And hopefully, Fran Frankie, that'll help some of those parents understand they need to go to mass. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so and then Stations of the Cross is coming up March uh, 5th for y'all. 5th. Mm -hmm. No, 6th. March 6th. So uh, 
we'll have that. And that's about it for that. Uh, and then I wanted to tell you, oh, uh, Lori, I see your flop notes going. Um, Frankie, are you and Liz reaching out to the parents through an email or anything? I didn't know if y'all were doing it through, um, through we, regular email. When we had to send them over, we just send them to the email. The flop note? Oh, yeah, yes. you've been using the flop yes. note. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, it's the other group that's not using the flop note. Um, all right. I really appreciate y'all using the flock note. That helps me be aware of what's going on. It helps me see that there's parent catechist interaction. And I really appreciate that so much. And it's so good to let them know what the kids have learned so that they can at least have some kind of talking point. So that's good. Um, so thank you very much for those of you who are doing that. I was going to say, I send them out. I never hear back from the parents, but I, I know <laughs> I've noticed they don't respond to that. Maybe they don't think they can. I don't know, yeah. but um, hey. they, they can respond and, but it like, you have to open up the note to see it. Okay. Cause it'll come to flock note instead of to you. Got it. Does that make Glory. sense? Yeah. And I have my notifications turned on where you see when people reply. Oh, so okay. It sends me an email. Yeah. I never get anything. Not getting any. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do as well. But I see they read them. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You can go, you uh, can go out and look at the, at the um, engagement and who, who's opening them and who's not. And you know, it even tells you which emails are opening them. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate y'all using it. Y'all are a good, y'all, y'all, both of y'all's classes are really good at doing that. And I appreciate that. It's, it's actually not a common thing. <laughs> we're not getting a lot of flock note usage. <laughs> so I'm like, if we're paying this much money, we're, we got to use it. Um, okay. Any other questions about all this stuff? One thing I would like to request of you is as you're going through the curriculum, if you see a lesson that is you know, just not good. Or if you, cause I noticed today when I was going through pretty in depth, I was like, mm, that one, that one's kind of lame or, Hey, that one's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you see some that, you know, you think, Hey, Andrew, we could skip this one. You know, th this other one's better, you know, cause we can't fit them all in. They give us 35 or 33 or 35, and we only have 28 sessions. And then we take two out because of the family workshops. So and next year, this is leading my segue uh, into next year. <laughs> I would like to start once a semester, I think, taking them over to the Adoration Chapel during class. I don't, for, for kindergarten, it'll probably just be, you know, a little bit of the class, maybe 30 minutes. Um, and there's a guided adoration uh, I found a resource that has amazing materials, but that lesson would then spill into the classroom. So like we would do the guided adoration and then they'd go back to the classroom and you could do the lesson with them that goes with the guided adoration that we did. So it might even be 15 minutes in the guided adoration and then go to the classroom and finish the lesson. But that's one thing I'd really like to, um, add in. And I also was considering inviting the parents to that. I think I'm going to make it like stations of the cross and the rosary and invite them. I won't require them like I do the family workshop, but I want to also, so y'all, y'all may have heard me or seen the emails about love ed, mm -hmm. that program. I've done it for three years now and it's supposed to be parent driven. I'm getting little or no participation. Like I, I think I had one parent for Sunday evening classes. I have two parents for Wednesday evening classes. I mean, it's just no participation. So um, Charlie and I see a great need for a more understanding of theology of the body. And there are some amazing materials out there that start at kindergarten and go all the way through. Like, for example, one of them is put out by Rural Woods, and we haven't decided which one we're going with. I think we're going to go with Tobit, but an example of an activity would be that they cut out a boy and they cut out a girl and they label it boy and girl. And then in the classroom, you talk about who can be a sister, who can be a brother, who can be a mommy, who can be a daddy. <laughs> and you're, yeah. 
you know, it's very, very basic. Um, the, the materials I'm looking at now are, um, now the Rua Woods is really good. It's based on, um, like using a book. Like I think in kindergarten, they use blueberries for Sal. If you're familiar with blueberries for oh, Sal, yeah. it's just a secular book. Um, but they use it and then they bounce the theology, the body ideas out of the story, which is kind of mm -hmm. cool. It's like you do in, in secular public school, we do units and we do, you know, let's read this book and then we'll explore all kinds of things around this book. Um, but then Tobit has created, uh, another set of materials and I'm looking at them and they do two books. Theirs is a lot more lesson heavy. So it would take, I'm struggling with, we have 28 sessions. I've got to fit. You know, the book gives me 33 sessions, which ones are good that we can pick out. And these really are good. That's what I'd like from y'all. That's the feedback I need from y'all because I want to squeeze in the Tobit um, curriculum. And I'm considering having the parents attend, but the room is what's stopping me because next year we may be busting out at the seams. Yeah. So, but Tobit has a parent follow-up guide that you send with them. So hopefully we'll um, do that. But that's our, our goal. Charlie's seeing a real need by the time they get to high school. They just don't understand um, the true purpose and meaning of the human body. And they're confused. And we're seeing adults who are ignorant of our church teachings. And so it's just um, one way we see that is a big need and love ed is not cutting it. It's just not reaching enough people. And so we're just going to go through the children and yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's why I'm asking you. I just wanted to explain why I'm asking you help me call the Sophia one into the best lessons. Yeah. If, if you can help me with that, that would be great. Very helpful since y'all are in it every year. Any feedback on that? Do y'all, do y'all, how does that feel? Do y'all feel overwhelmed now? I don't want to overwhelm anybody. No, no, I mean, I think it's a great idea and I can certainly provide the feedback because there are already some where I'm like, let's combine these two because oh, I feel like there's either not enough or these two kind of match and to give us time to, you know, do other stuff or whatever may come up, you know, so right. there are already ones where I'm kind of doing that. So I yeah, because I've seen y'all putting in the seasonal stuff. So yeah. I know we're having to cut something out to put the seasonal stuff and I'm fine with the seasonal stuff. I love it. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, I'd like to know so that I can, yeah. sure, I can put that together. So that would be great feedback, Lori. Okay. Especially trying to get the guided adoration in. Yep. And, and I think the guided adoration will meet an objective of one of the lessons. Like I'm going to try to make it to where we're still following that curriculum and meeting those criteria, but, um, doing it in a different format. Yeah. And so, but I just feel like the guided adoration is very, uh, powerful and I really like the parents to come. Yeah. So we'll see. Would you do it all, all groups at the same time? No, we, we I, like I'm going to stagger it. I'm going to do okay. kindergarten. Yeah. Cause I want it to really be yeah, that's very great. quality for that group of kids. And yeah. so I would do kindergarten, first grade. We would stagger them Just through the year. It. Yeah. Yeah. And the only reason I'm able to do this is because we're going to have our sanctuary. Mm -hmm. um, so nobody will be over there in the pack yeah. on Wednesday nights or on Sunday mornings. I'll be able to go over there. So I'm so excited by that. So right. it gives us a whole nother uh, venue to do that in. Well, also uh, about the theology of the body. I mean, the every thing from every different direction that these kids are getting and hearing and it's it, it, like you said very important and I think that that would be a great addition yeah when I was talking to the developer of Tobit she said um that some some places are dumping all the other curriculum and just going with Tobit because it also teaches some other, you know, it also teaches the faith. It doesn't, it, I wouldn't dump it, but I, it, 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 it's a, it's like two, four lessons. I think that's a lot to take out of our other curriculum. So I'm like, Oh, I got to figure this out. Another way we're talking about doing it is having a conference at the beginning of the year 
for families to attend together. And we would have breakout sessions where the kids would get like the first part and then they'd get the rest in their class. Um, so um, we're considering doing that as well. I just don't know about participation. It's so hard to get families. They're too busy. I too know. Busy. I mean, even the one of the kind one of the kindergarten our first grade teachers for the meeting after this one, she goes, "We've got three three baseball games, two dance lessons, and I can't make the meeting." I'm like, "Wow, yeah, wow." I was like, "Wow, I remember those days, but oh goodness." I don't know how you did it. I've got two and I'm like, <laughs> it's well, hard to keep up with them. We were very strict about how many things they could be in. Yeah. We were very strict. We were like, yeah. you can be in one sport, one at a time. Yep. And you can be in one like fine arts, theater or band or music or something. That was it. I was like, nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Well, but still, that's what we do. We do one yeah. sport, but it's a club sport, which involves oh, those are ahead. We couldn't three practices a week and pitching yeah. lessons and hitting lessons and this and that. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Yeah. We couldn't do that. That was, we never could afford that. So we were always like, nope, not an option. Sorry. Don't even think yeah. about it. <laughs> oh, man. So, well, well, anything else um, going on that we need to talk about? Oh, I do want to find out how you're feeling about next year. I mean, I'm trying the father, father's already asking me. He's like, how many of your catechists are coming back next year? I'm like, father, it's February. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to know, I mean, is anybody like, definitely I'm, I can't do this next year or I'm on the fence. I know Frankie, you and I talked about you kind of moving over to maybe to RCIA where we need your yes. bilingual skills. And, and, uh, and yes, and um, on and on Wednesdays, I think, or Sundays, yes, RCIA. I think Wednesdays is going to be actually better for me oh. because of my hours. Uh, I can just, from work, just go and, and, and go directly to the church. And, but it depends how many students, how, how much, what is the need on Wednesday and what is the need on Sundays? I don't know when, where do they need me the most? Right. Well, I will let Joy know that because I she is so excited about your your interest in RCIA because she is hurting for SAC prep and RCIA catechist. She really is needing some some strong people in there, and um, our our sacrament preparation program needs some very excuse me very well trained catechists. So um, mm -hmm. we're struggling with that. Also, Miss Liz just sent me a test message. She said she was having trouble logging in. She's been trying, but she just wanted to let you know that she was really trying to get in. She just don't know what huh, happened. That's weird. Yeah. yeah she told I me she was running late because like she had something. Okay. Well, tell her we're at the end and we missed her and you can catch her up. I also did record this. I, I forgot to tell you all at the beginning. I was recording it for the ones that missed. That way oh. I can send it to them now. And they can kind of catch up, but I don't know who's going to spend 45 minutes sitting there watching other people talk, but. <laughs> and, and I have one more question and oh, sure. a little bit off topic um, on the, um, on the uh, chapter one that I had to translate that you email me. Yes. What is the deadline on that? Oh, two weeks, two weeks. Okay. Because. I mean, it, it's not that I'm not able to, it's just when you translate from Spanish into English, it's like you, you one word in Spanish can have very many, many phone right. descriptions in English. So I'm trying to keep it as close as the as it is already like written in the chapter. So it's easier for me to like okay. manage to do that. But yeah, I just want to make sure on that. Yeah. Well, and one of the ladies uh, wrote back and said, I'm sorry, ladies. <laughs> one of the ladies wrote back and said, you can take a picture on your phone and Google will translate it. And then we, maybe we could just clean it up. Yeah, we can. I, I I mean, I can do that. But sometimes Google would use different words. And I, that's yeah. what was, I mean. And, and it's, it's good. It's just you have to, like, be careful with that because mm -hmm. that's when a lot of confusion when people are reading it comes to it. But, yeah, okay. that's. That's, I mean, it's not, it's not bad because for me, it's just easier to sit down and, and just type it out. It's oh, okay. just that I want to make sure that that's what um, I want. I want it to be easy for you. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's what I, I just wanted to know because, um, yeah, in Spanish, one word can mean so many different things for different, uh, ethnicities and all that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
Definitely. Puerto Rican to Mexican, like everybody can see a different <laughs> way. So, well, thank you very much for volunteering to do that. She's translating a big project for me. So wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a marriage preparation program that oh, wow. is in Spanish and I need it in English. So. <laughs> yeah. And I guess you would have to have words meaning proper. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to get nobody confused here with marriage. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> well, thank you very, very much, all of you, for attending. I really appreciate your time. I know it's hard with families and all the activities. So thank you. I appreciate you. Um, oh, I didn't I didn't hear the feedback. Lori, are you coming? You I'll I'll be back. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put people on the spot. So I thought, well, maybe this is putting people on the spot. I'll, you I'll be back. Are you enjoying your first year enough to come back? Are you talking to me? Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, I love being with Lori. If Lori loves being with me. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds good. How about, and Frankie, we already know you're heading to another yeah. place. So we'll miss you on our side, but we know where your skills are and your heart is. So that's, that's good. Okay. But I'm going to have somebody there like with me, right? It's not like. It should. Well, I'll, I'll let Joy know that. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just don't want to, you know, I, I, I'm going to get be nervous being my first time. Yeah. And I, I don't know if you know, but the parents are in there too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that helps a lot because they can do a lot of the work. Okay. That's good. Yes. Sounds All good. right. Well, I will let y'all go. Have a beautiful, blessed evening. Thank you very much. And um, everybody here has gotten the news. Lori, you may know her, that Janet Luther passed away. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if anybody else knew her, but I know your girls probably. Yeah. Uh, Madison had her. Yeah. Her Sacramento prep. She so. was a Sacramento preparation teacher at our church for the last 26 years years oh so and she passed away last friday so was she big, ill andrea she was yeah she had been battling cancer and then she got double pneumonia oh, and goodness. the chemo scarring kind of the radiation scarring pre prevented them from being able to help her with the double pneumonia. do anything yeah 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 it seems like it wasn't that long ago i saw her in church so i know yeah she was teaching just two weeks ago and went oh, yeah she was in the hospital for like five weeks and I mean, five days. And they basically told her you can stay here and we can do this and you can die or you can go home and die. Mm. So it was just really hard. It was a very hard situation. Goodness. So, but she's, oh. she was a beautiful, beautiful soul. Oh, she is going to be very missed. So yeah, Joy's scrambling. She's having to come up with a substitute for that class, which is mm -hmm. hard shoes to fill. Yeah. To fill. So, okay. Well, have a great week. Sorry to end on a sad note, <laughs> but y'all have a blessed week. Thank you again for your time. Thank you. you Thanks, Andrew. Thank yeah. you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye, everybody.